Welcome to the Secrets of the Bible channel. Have you ever taken a moment to reflect on the origins of the Gypsies people? This ethnic group, also known as Roma, spans across various countries worldwide and has always captivated people's fascination. The Roma are recognized for their mysterious aura and a unique culture filled with curiosities. In this video, we will explore the biblical, genetic, historical, and linguistic origins of this fascinating community. If you are interested in topics like this, don't forget to leave a like and share it with those who also appreciate this type of content. Join us for another video in our series and delve into the origins of the peoples that intrigue us so much. The origin of peoples according to the Bible certainly, at some point in your life, you have questioned the origins of the Roma people. This group is often considered mysterious, especially throughout history, where various theories speculated about their origins. Since the 60s and 70s, many ideas circulated, and even before that, several theories were proposed, some even suggesting they were descendants of Cain, though without biblical support. Over time, a theory that gained prominence from the 40s to the 80s claimed that the Roma actually originated from Egypt. According to this view, they would have migrated from Egypt to regions that now correspond to European countries, Brazil and other parts of the Americas. It is interesting to note that many Roma maintain a certain mystery about their origins. Some claim Egyptian descent, while others prefer to keep it a secret. Other ancient speculations associated the Roma with North African peoples, such as Moroccans, creating theories that linked them to these populations. Even the term, Gypsy, refers to Egypt and this country in North Africa, according to this theory. Thus, the origins of the Roma people remain an enigma surrounded by various theories throughout history. To the best of our knowledge, there are approximately three distinct groups of Roma, or three families, residing in countries in North and South America, as well as in Europe and the Middle East, including Turkey, among other countries in the region. These groupings are known by the terms Roma and Roma, Sinti and Kalans, representing different Roma families or groups, Within the vast tapestry of the Roma diaspora, distinct ethnic groups stand out, which, despite sharing common roots, have developed specific cultural identities. Among these notable groups are the Roma, Sinti and Kalins, each contributing to the richness and diversity of the global Roma community. The Roma, often considered the largest group within the Roma diaspora, have a significant presence throughout Europe and beyond with a history that extends from India to the farthest corners of the European continent, the Roma have developed a unique cultural identity, maintaining traditions such as the Romani language, vibrant dances, and captivating music. Despite internal variations, the Roma share a strong connection with the broader Roma culture. The Sinti, on the other hand, have their roots particularly grounded in Central Europe, with communities in Germany, Austria, France, and Italy. Despite sharing cultural similarities with the Roma, the Sinti also have their own distinct traditions. The Sinti language and the preservation of unique cultural practices contribute to the rich tapestry of Roma diversity. The Kalans, concentrated mainly in Spain, also play a vital role in the Roma diaspora. Their cultural traditions reflect historical and geographical influences, with distinct elements that set them apart from other groups. Flamenco music, for example, is often associated with the Kalans, demonstrating diversity and cultural adaptation over time. Various scholars seeking to understand the origins of the Roma people have attempted to establish connections between linguistic traits of the Romani language to more precisely identify their origins. Etymological analysis of the Romani language in relation to other linguistic groups has allowed linguistic scholars to uncover information about the origins of the Roma people. Studies of Romani, the Roma language, revealed previously overlooked curiosities that were evident to those who observed carefully. Ancient linguists who had access to the Romani language concluded that it exhibited significant similarities with the languages of northern India, with some resemblance also to Persian languages. Through etymological analysis of each term in the Romani language, linguists managed to unravel the ancient origins of the Roma people, often ignored or unknown. Some even associated the Roma with the Indian people due to striking similarities between them. Linguists determined that the Romani language has strong linguistic ties to Iranian languages, Persian, and, notably, languages from the Indian region. Hindi, in particular, displays remarkable similarities with Romani, 
the Roma language. These findings led to the identification of the origin of the Roma people as being from northern India. To confirm this linguistic connection, various genetic studies were conducted. These studies, involving a large number of Roma individuals, reaffirmed the linguistic assertion, indicating that the genetic roots of the Roma indeed originate from northern India. The convergence of linguistic and genetic evidence solidified the understanding of Roma origins. While linguistics alone is sufficient to determine the origin of a people, some doubts have arisen regarding a possible origin of the Romani people in the Middle East, close to Arab, Syrian, Iraqi, Saudi Arabian, Egyptian, and Jewish populations. The answer to this question is yes. The Romani people have a Semitic heritage in their DNA, derived from Persian colonization in the northern region of India. The people of northern India, descendants of the Persians, originated from the region that now corresponds to Iran. Before Persian colonization, the Elamites, descendants of Elam, the son of Shem, inhabited this area and were considered Semitic. The Elamites were an ancient people who lived in the region now known as southwestern Iran. They had a distinct civilization that flourished during antiquity, with historical records dating back to the 3rd millennium BCE. The region where the Elamites lived is known as Elam, and its major cities included Susa, or Shush, Anshan, and Medaktu. The Elamite civilization thrived over the centuries, contemporaneous with other great civilizations in Mesopotamia, such as the Sumerians, Akkadians, and Babylonians. The Elamites had their own language, known as Elamite, which was unrelated to the Semitic languages of Mesopotamia. Therefore, it is plausible that the Romani people have a Semitic heritage to a lesser extent in their DNA resulting from the presence of these Semitic peoples in the region before Persian colonization. This is highly likely due to their origin in northern India, tracing back to Aryan peoples. In addition to this origin, it is notable that many gypsies have a slightly brownish skin tone, leaving some to speculate about a possible African origin. However, the reality is that the native inhabitants of northern India, in themselves, have a darker skin tone, Many Romani people share this characteristic due to their origin in northern India, where native Indians belonging to Dravidian peoples contribute to this darker tone. As for biblical origins, as is common in this channel, I always address the origins of peoples based on chapter 10 of Genesis in the Holy Bible and ancient Judeo-Semitic traditions. The Romani people, originating from northern India, have a strong Japhethic heritage, derived from the Madai people, who, in turn, have ancestral connections with the ancient Persians, Medes, and Parthians. Me this heritage traces back to Madai, the son of Japheth, who is the ancestor of these peoples. So, according to ancient interpretations of various biblical peoples, it is notable that they share a Dravidian origin from India, resulting from miscegenation around 1, 500 years before Christ. This process began with the colonization of northern India by Aryan peoples. Furthermore, there is also a Semitic influence, albeit on a smaller scale, originating from Ulamite groups. This Semitic influence can be related to, to the migrations of the Romani people, who passed through ancient Egypt and North Africa, especially Morocco, before reaching European countries, and finally, Brazil. During these journeys, ethnic mixtures occurred, including interactions with Egyptians, resulting in genetic traits and cultural practices of Arab, Moroccan, and Egyptian origin among the Romani people. The nomadic life, a distinctive feature, was also adopted reflecting not only their Dravidian origin but also Iranian influences due to Semitic origin. In summary, the origin of the Romani people is deeply rooted in the northern Indian peoples, specifically in the Punjab region. This video is a response to the request of many curious people about the origin of the Romani people. I recommend exploring other videos in our series on the origins of peoples, according to the Bible, full of interesting information. Thank you to everyone who watched up to this point. Comment if you had curiosities about the origin of the Romani people. This is the second video dedicated to this theme, exclusively at the request of the audience. Stay with God, and we'll see you soon.